There's a guy driving along in a real small sports car in a rural area and he all of a sudden lost control and he went into a ditch. He was safe, uh, car was a little bit damaged, but he thought if I can find somebody to help pull me out, I can get this to a shop. So he walks down the rural road and he's looking for it and all of a sudden he comes upon a farmer and a horse. He's like, excuse me sir, but I got this small sports car, it's in the ditch and I think your horse could help me pull it out. Could you help me out? And the farmer's like, yeah, absolutely. So they go down and the horse's name is Buddy, by the way. And so he goes in and hooks up Buddy to the car and um, the farmer steps back and says, pull Trixie, pull. And the horse doesn't do anything. And the, the guy with the sports car is looking perplexed. He's like, but the guy's, you know, the horse's name is Buddy. And then he goes, the farmer goes, pull Casey, pull. And again, the horse doesn't do anything. And then the third time, the farmer says, pull Buddy, pull. And all of a sudden, Buddy pulls in, springs into action. He pulls the car right up out of the ditch. And the guy's like, thank you so much, but I just, I gotta ask the question. Why'd you call him three different, or two different names before you called his name? He's like, well, you see, Buddy's blind. And if I wouldn't have let him know that he had support and help, he probably wouldn't have done it on his own. So the moral of the story is, where are you holding yourself back? Maybe it's a project, a task, or a challenge that you've come upon, and you think that you need others' support, you need others' help. I guarantee you're far more capable than doing things on your own than you give yourself credit to. So ask the question, what would you do in your life if you were guaranteed not to fail? Go try it anyway. Don't wait for somebody else's help. Spring into action just like Buddy and you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish.